<laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is another little impromptu. And as you can see, here I am surrounded once again by my boxes as I'm getting ready to um, move to Maine. Um, but for my friends in Virginia, I mean, it's not that we can see each other in person now anyway, but I'll be back and forth between Virginia and Maine for the next few years at least. So um, I'll be as much here as there. Um, so you guys, uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for all the love I got after my last live stream. And um, I was really, um, I'm really grateful for the number of you who uh, encouraged me to keep sharing the visions I get um, I guess, um, people who are angry sometimes are very loud about it. And people who are grateful are, uh, sometimes just feeling the appreciation. So after getting so much anger, I kind of went on the sidelines, but okay, I'm back. And you know what? I'll tell you the same as anything that I say was visions for the future it's the same as anyone else. Like listen to all of us who share what we think and then process for yourself on what you feel comfortable accepting. Um, when, and um, again, I encourage everyone learn how to do this yourself because if for no other reason you learn to really trust yourself, and also when things come through and you're like, I can't deal with that, it lets you know what's happening inside yourself that maybe needs a little healing or releasing or evolving. So it's very like, um, very purifying for the self. It lets you know whatever is holding you back from receiving truth. And usually it's things like self-doubt, fear, uh, poor self-esteem, issues like that, that you don't really need in you anyway. So hi, Connie. <laughs> so um, I want to thank everyone. And today is our election day. Today's a big day. Um, I've gotten so many communications from people, wonderful people, just wonderful people who are understandably filled with anxiety about what's going to be the outcome of this. And, um, you know, um, hold on. So, you know, as you know, I love spoon bending. I love taking spoons. And of course, <laughs> without preparation, I grabbed a big fat spoon. But um, let's see, here's the thing, bending a spoon Let's see if anything will happen today. Bending a spoon, taking something that is solid, solid, and making it malleable just by your belief that, ha <laughs> ha, look at that, completely unprepared. Well, wow, look, you see how soft that is? It's like butter, like butter, okay? So no preparation, totally impromptu. It's hot. <laughs> hot. I just did this. You saw it. So if I, with just my belief that I can do it, and now like, <laughs> I can't unbend it. It's back to hard again. Like <laughs> You can see, you can, you can, oh my God, that hurt. So it's my belief that made this very solid spoon do what I asked. I created a reality that what I crave became physical. So why aren't we all doing that for today? We can, we can. Those of you who are filled with anxiety of what if, what if, now don't get down on yourself, but what energy are you putting out there? Putting out, oh my God, what if the thing I can't deal with happens, you know? How about what if the thing I most desire happens? 
You know, one lesson I learned from the librarians, and as you guys know, I've been studying with them literally my entire life. Like they've been with me all these years. One thing I've learned is, so we don't know what's gonna happen at the end of today. So between now and the end of today, like for me, for Bonita, my emotional state impacts me and my immediate surrounding, you know, my family. So why don't I spend today celebrating the outcome I crave? Because at the end of today, I'll learn the reality. And if the reality is not what I want it to be, then I missed this opportunity to celebrate because I'm not going to be celebrating then. And if the reality is what I want it to be, then I'm already in celebration mode and I can celebrate even more. And I'll be so glad for all this celebration. So I encourage each of you, imagine the outcome you crave and rejoice in it. Take this time to just rejoice and celebrate. Give yourself the gift of this day, of this day being the perfect day leading towards the perfect outcome. So for me, and it's no big secret where my politics lean, for me, the perfect outcome is that by the time all the voting, the votes come in, even before they've counted the extended ballots that are still out there, Biden and Harris have won by such a landslide that it is irrefutable. It is irrefutable. And even if some, like Dumpity Trump, may wish, there's nothing he can do about it because like three quarters, at least three quarters of our nation votes for Biden and Harris. That is what I'm imagining. And so today I'm going, yippee, yippee. I'm like, I'm celebrating. Now, it's really important I do this because, you know, like everyone else, we're in lockdown and we're all stressed out in my house. So we're like triggering each other like mad. Here it is. I'm with the people I love so much. And we're just like ready to rip each other's throats out for no reason because we're all just anxious and stressed and terrified. So instead, we are purposefully choosing to celebrate. <laughs> That's probably the difference between life or death in my household today. <laughs> and I'm sure some of you can relate to what I'm saying. So remember, you know, and if you go onto my website, I have a whole bunch of spoon bending classes that are available for free. And it works with metal or plastic. You can practice with disposable plastic wear. Uh, so if you're like, oh, I don't think I can deal with reality, go to bonitawoods.org, B-O-N-I-T-A-W-O-O-D-S dot O-R-G. It's free. Sign up for my free programs, which is the spiritual alchemy, and do a little spoon bending. Empower yourself. Like, you know what? I just bend a spoon. If I can bend a spoon, then I can send the energy up for this world to become what I want it to be. So um, that's my message for today. I am not prophesizing the future. I mean, I could, but um, we'll do that another day. Today, let's focus on manifesting. And even if we only manifest this moment for our personal selves, that's worth it. Like I said, give yourself this day, give yourself this day to celebrate and then reality will show us what it shows us. But I think we'll all be glad if we say, Phew. and who knows, again, my thought made this very solid. This is a thick, solid spoon, be soft and malleable, just my thoughts. And trust me, my thoughts are not that awesome. I'm not like the big thought genius. I'm just like, you know, so if, if I can do this, maybe all of us together, our thoughts 
can have an impact on this day. And the only way that happens really is through love, love of self, and powering yourself with what you do love. Don't worry about loving what you don't love. Today, let yourself receive love and connect with love to what you love. And then let your love go out and let's see what it does. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> Bye.